What's up y'all, this is bad move. Now, um, this video is just a little bit different, so I think it's just like a, a bit of a small vent. And this is in regards to the recent news um, that just came out today about Fox. Is it Fox? Yeah, Fox planning a reboot of Starsky and Hutch. Now, as far as I'm concerned, obviously I was born in the 90s, so I only saw like little bits of episode when my dad was watching the original series from 1975. The only Starsky and Hutch I watched on my own was the the live action film, the one with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson, Snoop Dogg, all them. Um, so basically, the recent news that's been going on about this remake was that, stupidly enough, they were gonna make Starsky and Hutch female. Yeah, you heard that right. They're gonna make them female. And this is really stupid, and it's really a bit of, it, actually it's not a bit of a whiz take, this is a massive whiz take, and I'm sick and tired of this whole woke-ass bullcrap going on. It's clearly obvious that Fox, being the Muppets that they have now outed themselves as, they're just doing this stupid-ass, woke, piece-of-crap, feminist bullcrap version of Starsky and Hutch in the name of feminism. Now... I just want to make this clear, alright? It's one thing to make a production to have female protagonists, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, as long as they they originally are female and they, they start off as a female, even if they were to be remakes, that they remain female. But, to take a show or a film that has been around with a protagonist of a certain gender all of a sudden when you're doing like a reboot or a remake you decide to change their gender just for the sake of diversity for the sake of the woke agenda this is it's just bullcrap now you're probably a lot of you are probably going to be surprised that i am against the woke agenda considering that i'm black myself but never believe any misconceptions because even though i am black i am against this woke agenda and I am against this stupid diversity quota I just want to be honest now I always thought right but well, before I discovered the the meaning of the word woke I thought it was another way of saying vigilance I thought it just meant being vigilant of anything just being aware of anything I didn't think that it had something to do with being aware of marginalized categories let alone females and black people and all that I mean, this is just just this a bullcrap agenda that's been going on ever since this woke thing has become a thing. Let alone woke being a term. You know that sh that really should be banned. That word she really should be banned. I'm sick and tired of these dumbass companies, right? Especially like freaking like Disney and all that crap. Like they keep freaking up these characters, right? By and like by um like making them into something that they were never meant to be. All right. And I'm talking, and this is the biggest cases. The biggest cases of this bullcrap wokeness is like a male character being turned female, a white character being turned into a minority, a able person turned into a disabled person, a slim or muscly person turned into a fat person, and a straight person turned into an LGBT person. All for the sake of this diversity quota like why do you have to make changes to characters that were how they originally were when you can just make new characters under those categories as long as there's no woke agenda applied to it dude like if you in this reboot right why didn't why don't they just leave starsky and hutch as males how they originally used to be and if they wanted and here's the thing here's the thing if they wanted female protagonists involved female leads involved well here's two options Either make two completely new female additional leads, having them associated with Starsky and Hutch, or just make like a like a sequel to Starsky and Hutch, and just basically have these two females completely differently named, right? Whilst Starsky and Hutch are still apparent. And just make the show revolving around those two females without having to adopt the names Starsky and Hutch. 
and like I said, without the woke crap. Why don't you just make a storyline about like two completely different females being mentored under Starsky and Hutch, and without all this feminist bullcrap? Like, why, 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 why does it? Why, why nowadays, right? Look, I get like I get it. Like, there's like like back in the day, there weren't a lot of female roles. There weren't a lot of minorities. Look, I like I get that. But like, why does it have to be so politicized, and why does it have to be so pushed and so enforced? It, it's just it's just stupid at this point. It's just completely stupid. So if they do go ahead with this, I'm telling you now, I am not gonna watch it. I I refuse. Like, dude, I refuse to watch a remake which involves, like, woke crap. Like, strong amounts of woke crap. Okay? But this is this is probably going to be the type of show in which they're going to be so extreme with it. Considering this feminism crap. Now, look, feminism is bull crap. Okay? I just want to make that clear. Now, don't get me wrong. I have nothing, I have nothing against uh, women's rights. I don't hate females like I, but okay well put it okay put it this way now don't get this wrong okay i have nothing against women and i have nothing against women's rights but i do have everything against feminists and feminism like feminists are just a bunch of stupid sexist insane mentally cracked in the head um socially disabled um emotionally screwed like emotionally screwed, angry lesbian mother truckers who just basically hate, abuse, prey on, and aim to kill males. That's all they want. They, just, a woman's right activist, basically wants equality with the males, but a feminist wants domination over the males. You ever get what I mean? And to, and coming back to this. There's this remake that they're gonna plan. It's just like it's just it's just gonna be a load of bullcrap. I t I swear to you, there's gonna be some big ass backlash that's gonna come. There's gonna be lots and lots of backlash that's gonna come, and I bet my ass that even uh, the two original actors, right, the two original actors of Starsky and Hutch, they're gonna be whizzed off. I swear to you, they're going to be so whizzed off. I hope that they don't get um, manipulated by these um, woke lunatics. These um, woke tards. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, that's the new term. I'm, I'm coining that. Nobody steals that. I'm coining, I'm coining that term. All right? Woke tard. Anyone, anyone who, is a, who is a part of the woke agenda, anyone who is a part of the woke mob, and enforces woke agenda on other people you are now a woke tard which is a portmanteau of woke and retard for all you woke tards at the back so screw all these woke tards all right the ogs will live on the og starsky and hutch and even the first remake in back in 2004 yeah 2004 with ben stiller and Owen wilson that lives on Okay, screw the woke tards and screw the woke agenda, screw feminism and screw Fox. Okay, and any mother trucker trying to come at me because of my opinion, go suck yourself. I'm entitled to my opinion. All right, you're just a bunch of big babies who just basically can't stand the fact that there's a lot of people that are going to disagree with it. And we have a right to, we have a freaking right to. Okay, like this is a this is this is an iconic show that they're freaking up with their woke crap. And we ain't gonna freaking take it anymore. I swear to gosh. And as if this Velma situation ain't worse enough, now we gotta deal with this. What a travesty.